If you want to create a plate like this, you got to stay tuned. It's perfect for the holidays. It's Vlogmas Day 3. Welcome back to La La Laurenville. I am so happy to be doing Vlogmas with you guys. Thanks to everyone that's subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. And let's get right into the holiday countdown. It is the third day of December. And since it's day three, I gotta find it. Ah, there's day three. So what is the special chocolate of today? <laughs> <laughs> Come out with chocolate. <laughs> it's a little squirrel. I don't know if you have to see it. It's a little squirrel for day three. <laughs> Cheers to day three. By the way, I know y'all see me enjoying these chocolates every day. This milk chocolate. Mm. Mm. And if you tap in already watch day one, as you should, it's day three. So if you haven't seen these vlogs, uh, that means you didn't watch day one and you may not have watched day two. So make sure you go watch Vlogmas Day 1 and Vlogmas Day 2. And we're right now we're on Vlogmas Day 3. And I really just got a vase for these beautiful flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these up in the vase. I literally just got this cylinder vase for the flowers. I think it'll be kind of cute to see them in there with the pink and the red. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put the flowers in the vase before they die. <laughs> oh, I gotta watch out for these thorns. Don't separate them. I got them separated. I wanna see how tall. Oh, 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 I want to cut off, I want them to kind of like the flowers to hit like right at the base of here. So let me just cut off about this much to see. We got the kitchen seating. I'm gonna go a little bit shorter. Let's see if this one's short enough. I think it's still as well. I'm gonna make the flowers happy and some more. I'll do a flower update in an upcoming vlog so y'all can see how the days are going. <laughs> Put in water in the flowers. So now I'm about to put some of the flower food in for the plants. I didn't want that to be water. And now we watch the sun rise right there. Okay. That's done. Okay, now that the flowers are taken care of, it's time to clean up and it's time to get ready to cook and eat. Let's get to it. So everything is laid out in the kitchen, ready for the seafood boil. So first things first, we gotta put some water in the pot so we can get a boil on. Okay, we got our water. Now 
I'm going to go ahead and turn this on so it can start getting hot. Okay, cool. I got the butter. I like to use the butter that has the calcium in it because, like, why not get somebody to use butter while you're using it? So I'm gonna add some butter to the water. Okay, that was a big block. <laughs> I'm gonna move you right there so you have a better view of what's going on in the pot. So of course you gotta have the all day seasoning. Like you have to do that whenever you have a seafood boil. The clear seasoning. Because as you see, I don't want to change it. A bag of potatoes and two types of sausage. Comment down below what type of sausage do you like to have in your seafood bowl? I'm curious to know what you guys like. We got the sausage. One thing my grandma told me is that it's good to clean as you go. She I'm just gonna give the boil a little spin so the butter can mix around in there. The water still isn't boiling yet, but I'm just put some more seasoning. I feel like you really can't over season with a seafood boil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sausage up into the size it's gonna be when we're biting it from the seafood boil. And I'm also starting with just cutting the sausage because that's gonna be the first thing I'm putting in the seafood boil once. The water is boiling because it kind of takes longer than the other things to cook, like the seafood, the shrimp, the crab legs. They're gonna cook way faster than the sausage would be cooking. So, I'm gonna put that in first, and then I'm gonna follow up with the corn and potatoes. And then, after a little bit, add in the seafood. Another piece of seafood. You know, gotta get. Louisiana vibes gotta come through. So once this boils, we're gonna put the sausage in and also add the corn and potatoes. And it looks like it's really about to start boiling right now. Yeah, it's good. Okay, it is officially boiling. It's boiling real high. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. And I'm about to add the sausage. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausage.
the butter side. We're just gonna go over all of this. We're gonna spray it on top of the seafood oil. And I, I just dip some shrimp in it. Now I need to get this on the pot now. Smells so good. Oh, this really smells delicious. The seafood bowl is done. Oh my goodness, this is my first time doing this, but if you tasted it, you would never know it's my first time. Oh my goodness, I've been snacking on this. It's too good. No, seriously, y'all. Like, literally, it tastes good. Just by itself. And it tastes good, dipping it in butter. I've tried everything so far, except for the crab legs, the corn, and the potato. But yeah, I'm about to sit back and eat the rest of my food and watch a movie, a Christmas movie, in the spirit of the holidays. Everything is so cooked on point. I was so concerned about like overcooking, but everything literally is perfect. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Well, I impressed myself every day. What a life. This is so good. I am a chef. Literally. Everything I cook is a masterpiece on first attempt. Wow. I didn't even dip this in the butter. If you want the recipe, check out my description below to get all the details on what it took to make a meal like this. So you can get it out for your Christmas, family, holiday. This is fire. This is so fire. I could literally do a mukbang eating this for real. This is so good. No lie. Just comment down below if you want to do the mukbang. And what time is I'm 
so proud. One second of myself for snapping in the kitchen. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to me. I will see you in day four. Tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Oh,